So, my partner has recently become obsessed with Dreamlight Valley, the Disney take on Animal Crossing meets Stardew Valley. And in watching her play it, I really like the look of the fishing mini game that appears in the game. It was simple yet engaging, unlike that ridiculously hard, stupid mini game in Stardew Valley. Seriously, that mini game sucked. But the way it works in Dreamlight Valley is you approach the water and you see some little bubbles coming up out of the water. You hold down X and this casts out a little graphic. And then if you release X while that graphic is over the fishing point, the player casts casts a line and then it and then after a little delay the mini game starts. The actual mini game is a large ring that closes down on a smaller ring and if you press X while the rings are overlapping then that counts as a success. And you've got to do this two or three times uh, for the game to be complete and if you get them all right you catch a fish. But with my recent move to learning C++ and Unreal Engine I thought a good test of what I'd learned so far would be to try and recreate this little mini game. It should be simple enough right? Wrong. I'd say total time spent has been about three full-time days working on this which is ridiculous. I mean, that was obviously spread over a course of a few hours each night and the code base probably needs to go to C++ jail like honestly it's disgusting. But it works so let's rewind and take a look at where this all began. Oh and by the way if you want the project files for this they will be available over on my Patreon which is patreon.com forward slash danpos and there you'll find lots of other tutorial projects too. A link for that is in the description below. So first things first I started up a new Unreal project project and I decided to start building this in the open world level that comes with Unreal Engine 5 as it's already set up nicely with some terrain that I could start digging a little pond in. The water of the pond is just a simple plane with a nice stylized water asset that I got off the marketplace. So with the pond set up I then got to work on the little water bubbles and the particles just so we knew exactly where we were trying to aim when we started to cast out our line. So I created a bubble texture in Photoshop which kind of mimics how the texture looks in Dreamlight Valley. Honestly, I'm still quite new to particles in Niagara. I really like how this turned out, though. I think if we put them side by side, I kind of got them looking quite good, I think. As you can see, it's the bubbles and some concentric circles that just wibble inwards. With that done, it was time to start some actual pro. First thing I did was create an actor component called a tool component. This contained all of the mechanics, which really should have been in a separate fishing rod class. And then the tool component would be the thing that, you know, you had an equipped tool and then you'd equip, say, the fishing rod, and then all the logic for the fishing rod would be on the fishing rod script. As I said, this code's gross, but it works, uh, and, you know, we could always refactor it down the line. I then got distracted trying to get some fishing animations. Uh, I got some off Mixamo, but then importing the Mixamo animations onto the Unreal Engine mannequin is a bit of a pain. There was a script that someone's made, like a little program that does it for you, but it only does it to the UE4 mannequin. And they don't translate that well to the Unreal Engine 5 mannequins. Well, they didn't at first. They did find a way with retargeting to get them looking okay. But the animations were stretching the female mannequin really weirdly, and it just looked odd. But as I said, I did get them working eventually. But I didn't actually set them up in game. I didn't make... I didn't incorporate them into the animation blueprint because by that point I was so annoyed with them that I just left them. But again, they are in the project files, those animations from Mixamo. So if you wanted to download the project and kind of set it up yourself, feel free to do so. So the next step was to implement the actual casting of the line, illustrated nicely here by this huge yellow sphere. This shows the location of where the player has cast up to, and the idea is that they'll hold down X as this line moves out, and then if it's over a fishing spot when the player lets go of X, then that can start the fishing minigame. Eventually this worked really well, uh, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. There was a lot of issues originally with the uh, ray cast trying to find the fishing point, it wouldn't detect it, it kept on getting either the terrain or the water. I eventually solved this by having a cry and then putting in some custom trace channels. When it comes to stuff like this, I much prefer Unity's uh, layer-based system. It seems to work kind of similar in Unreal, but I'm just not a big fan of how it's kind of presented. But that's probably because I've got less experience in it. I'm sure it's fine. But yeah, I, I kind of like layer masks. It a bit more. So having got this working eventually, I wanted to put a fishing rod in the player's hands. This was originally done with the intention to be used with the animations, but like I said, I didn't end up using the animations, um, but the fishing rod still looks cool. And it was quite a cool model that I found on Sketchfab. It was a Creative Commons attribution uh, model. So, you know, all of the stuff for that is down below, all the attributions for that. And then once this was in, I reused the bubble graphic to actually show the cast point on the ground instead of the big ugly yellow sphere. And this was a material 
material that was on a plane that's attached to the player. And then I set the plane's position based on where the character has actually cast up to. Next up was to create a little bobber model. This is on every fishing point. This isn't part of the fishing rod. The reason for this is it's always going to be in the center this way and I can just turn it off and on with other effects. And then once this activates, it starts a timer on the fishing point, which will be a random delay uh, between two sort of time, like a min and max time that I can set. The idea here is that on the fishing point, there's two planes. Uh, one's just stationary and then the outer ring we actually just scaled the plane up and then back down again slowly and then once it overlaps with the inner circle I can then turn the inner circle green and if the player presses x while it's in that sort of green zone the sweet spot that counts as a success and you can set a min and max uh, success to keep it a bit random as well so for example uh, you can put between like one and four and then the player will have to complete this uh, ring game, if you can call it a game. Uh, we'll have to do it for the amount of times that have been set. So with all that set up and working, the player could now win the mini game. But I needed to incorporate some UI to kind of let the player know that they've been successful and caught a fish. I created a simple uh, widget blueprint for this. This is set up on the player and the player spawns this and adds it to the viewport. Then all the graphics start hidden. In a larger game, there'd obviously be more, uh, a hood class, a hood manager class, I guess, uh, that would deal with all of this. But this works for our small little project. Making the image and then the fish's name variables. This allows me to bind to a uh, fish core event dispatcher. And this chooses a random fish from a data table, which passes the name and the graphic through to the UI and then the UI can update and then display. Then after a brief delay the UI disappears and the player can go on to do whatever else they were doing in the game or they can carry on fishing. This was a really fun project to work on despite being more difficult than I was initially expecting it to be. My main issue was trying to figure out how to best communicate between the player, the fishing rod and the fishing point. There's three scripts there which all sort of have to interact with each other but the solution I came up with whilst not elegant works and that's all you can ask for sometimes when it comes to programming these little projects yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this little dabble into a fishing mini game if there's any other game mechanics from other games you'd like to see in either unreal engine or unity let me know in the comments below and again quick reminder if you want to download these project files and have a play with them yourself they are available over on patreon.com forward slash tampos again linked below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye I'd just like to take a minute to thank my amazing patrons. In the 10,000 XP tier, we have John Smart and Trey Briggs. And in the 4,000 XP tier, we have everyone that you can see on screen here. Thank you everyone for your support.